Welcome back everyone. Um, as you could probably predict, my weekly Planner K order is here. Um, this is quite a large order because I have planned to start a new album for monthly planning. So I ordered some specific stickers for that um, sort of project as well as some other ones. So let's jump in and take a look. As always, everything is very beautifully packaged and secure. And we have quite a bit of stuff to go through today. Okay, let's get started with the new releases. On September 18th, 2020, um, she had quite a few new releases up and I did go ahead and pick those up. So the first sheets are the quote sheets. Kindness Changes Everything, Liquid Patience, and But First Coffee. And if you are new to Planner K and you want to pick up any of these stickers for yourself, um, you'll want to catch the sheet numbers up here in the corner and search that in the shop and it'll bring the sheet right up. Um, we also have some doodles that were released. We have the colorful and the neutral in the cleaning bucket. So this is the neutral and this is the colorful. <clears throat> the neutral and colorful shopping bags. And then she did release these paper clips. and backpacks. And the churches, again, in the neutral and the colorful. And the push pins. And then we move on to the new Gen Plans font. So um, she does do custom orders in the Gen Plans font all of these are ones that are just up in the store and she releases new um, phrases or sayings usually on Fridays. So I picked up the dinner ones and day off and class and Bible study. And then she also put up some new scripts. So if you're not familiar with her scripts, I will link a video that I did just on the different font options. Um, but I did pick the practice one in font E, as well as the subscription in font E. So you could get this sheet in font A, B, C, D, or E. I just happen to like font E. To today, vacation day and small group. And then this, if you watched my last um, video on the November kits, you'll um, remember I forgot to purchase this sheet. Um, I purchased all the other sheets in this kit, MK263, and forgot this one, so I had to pick that up. And then this next larger section of stickers is going to be for my monthly planning album, which I will show you um, what I mean by that in another video, but all of these will be going in a specific album that I will use when I sit down to do my monthly plans. So I did pick up some of the transparent stickers and then these early dismissal and no school stickers. And then these striped quarter boxes I picked up several sheets of those, it looks like two. I use these for my content planning. <clears throat> and then I was kind of confused by this, but I realized what happened, but we'll go back to that in a minute. So I did order these skinny appointment labels in every color that she offers. That's colors one through 24. So if you're not familiar, these are the Planner Kate colors specific to her shop. And then she does offer things in the Erin Condren colorway. So I ordered all of these in the Planner Kate colors, one of each color. 
So if you search CLR5 in the shop, they will come up and then there'll be a drop down and you can pick which planner cake color you are wanting. So I will flip through all of those. And again, this is for my monthly planning. So these should last quite a while with how many you get on a sheet. And for me personally, if I'm using a monthly kit from Kate, which I usually do, it doesn't have to be an exact match for me. I'll just pick one of these sheets that most closely matches the kit that I'm using. And usually at least one or two of the planner cake colors will coordinate well with the kit. Lots of those. And then this, I think, came, it usually doesn't, it's the PK color chart, because I put this sheet S1101 in my cart, um, I put 24 of those, and then also put in 24 of the color change, and changed this sheet S1101, which is usually a mixed sheet of the planner kit colors, to all one color. So if that's something you're interested in, you would have to put the sheet in the cart that you're looking at as well as pay for the color change as well. So I think that the person that um, packed my order probably put this in here so that they knew that they got all of my customs because I did order 24 custom sheets, one for each of those, if that makes sense. Now, if you're wanting one of these just to reference, which I have done and I keep in my album, um, when you're checking out, if you put PK colors in the notes section in Etsy, they will send you one of these without the check marks, obviously. And you can keep this for reference when you're ordering stickers or trying to match stickers to kits. So I did pick up this S1101 in every single one of the planner cake colors, just like um, I did on these events. So I won't necessarily flip through all of these but you get the idea. So um, the rest of these are just this sheet all in the planner cake colors. Um, I did also obviously get the freebies. Usually you get five or six freebies per order. And since I switched to the plum paper planner, I realized that my strip headers weren't working because I usually get the solid strips. So I did pick those up for my future kits so that I could have headers that work in the plum paper seven by nine planer. And lastly, I did pick up this washi. Um, it's just one that I had forgotten to order when I placed my order when the October kits came out. So I did go ahead and pick up that washi because you know, you gotta have every single roll. So that was my latest planner Kate haul and I will be sharing with you soon my monthly planning album. I think it's gonna be really handy. Um, thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, let me know. Happy planning!